Hello everyone, welcome to A plus PI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to evaluate a complex expression. We have cosine of root 3 plus i and we're going to simplify this in two different ways. Great, so we're going to talk about some really cool stuff and if you do know of a third method please let us know in the comment section down below. So Cosine of an angle, right? You can evaluate cosine of 60, cosine of pi over 5, so on and so forth, right? There are quite a few angles for which you can evaluate the cosine. But when you have a complex number like this, how do you do that? Cosine of root 3 plus i. So the first method is going to use a trigonometric identity. So let's start with that. And then later on, when we're done with both methods, we can go ahead and try to compare our methods okay so for my first method i'm going to use an identity which is called the, as the sum formula in other words cosine alpha plus beta where alpha and beta are two angles and they don't have to be real okay so this is equivalent to cosine of alpha multiplied by cosine of beta minus sine of alpha times sine of beta there are four formulas for sine and cosine and if you include tangent that's going to be six but sine and cosine are kind of similar in many ways, and there are differences, of course. So what are the, uh, the traits of a cosine equation in this case? That will be the opposite sign. So if you have a plus sign, if you have a sum, it's going to turn into a difference. That's characteristic about cosine. With sine, it's going to be the opposite or the same sign. With cosine, there's another thing that it's kind of like x homogeneously. In other words, it kind of brings the cosines together and the sines together. Sine will do it heterogeneously. That, those are some of the things that I think about when I'm thinking these problems or identities, and that's how I memorize them. And every time I teach these topics or concepts, uh, I, I like to mention this because this kind of makes it a little easier in my opinion. Obviously, there are proofs for these formulas. We're not going to get into those. That's a different topic. Now, Let's go ahead and use this with complex numbers. How can we use it? Obviously, this is a sum of two angles, right? Root 3 is an angle. I is another angle, which is an imaginary angle. Imagine you have an angle measured I radians. Okay? Wouldn't that be cool? So replace this with root 3 and replace this with I. So you're going to get the answer. Cosine of root 3 plus I. Awesome. So it's going to turn into cosine of root 3 times cosine of i, I might probably write i in parentheses because then it's going to look like cosi or cosi, whatever. And there is actually, if I think I googled it and it kind of has a meaning. Anyways, this is going to be sine root 3 and you can put the right root 3 in parentheses too, no big deal. But I'm just going to put the i in parentheses. So that should be the answer, right? Well, let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit because what is cosine i? What is sine i, right? I mean, how do you simplify those? Let's talk about it. So, first of all, let me tell you that cosine i is 1 plus e squared divided by 2e. Wait a minute. Is that real? Are you sure that this is the value? Yes. Actually, cosine i is, you might find this interesting, but cosine i is real. I mean, really. But sine i isn't because sine is weird in the sense. And it's equal to i times e squared minus 1 over 2e. Notice the similarities between those two things, but notice also that this is not real. It's imaginary. Okay? Where does this come from? Let's briefly talk about it real quick. I'm going to show you the method, and hopefully you can come up with the rest of it. So if you have cosine theta plus i sine theta, you should know from Euler's formula that this is equivalent to e to the i theta. This is just an amazing, amazing formula because Euler is simply amazing, right? He is one of the most amazing uh, mathematicians and, in my opinion, the best. Anyways, this is for uh, i theta. If you replace theta with negative theta because cosine is an even function, it's unchanged, and sine is an odd function. I told you, sine is weird, right? That's another way for odd. Anyways, so these are the identities that we get. And of course, if you replace theta with i, then you're going to get the following. Let's go ahead and find out. Replace cosine. Um, so you're going to get cosine of i plus i sine of i.
cosine of i minus i sine of i. And on the right hand side, I'm going to replace theta with i. But when I do, i times i becomes an i squared and that just becomes negative 1. Isn't that cool? And this becomes a negative negative 1 or just positive 1. So this is 1 over e. This is e. And from these two equations, I can find sine i and cosine i by using elimination. Or if you want to use substitution, that is fine too. So let's go ahead and plug these values into our equation and see what happens with cosine of root 3 plus i. In other words, the simplest answer. So cosine of root 3 is just going to be that, and then cosine of root 3. But I want to write the uh, sine i first, and sine i is just going to be, one. I'm sorry, cosine i first, 1 plus i squared over 2e, multiply by cosine root 3, minus i times e squared minus 1 over 2e times sine of root 3. Awesome. Now, where does this come from? You have an i, and sine i brings another i, which becomes i squared, and that brings you the minus sign right here. Make sense? That's where the minus sign comes from. But this should be the answer in the simplest form. Great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method real quick, and we kind of need to compare our answers. All right. So for the second method, I'm going to use an identity that comes from these two equations before I replace the theta with i. Cosine theta can be written as e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta divided by 2. You should definitely know these identities if you're doing trigonometry and complex numbers, or if you're doing anything else, you should do fine. I mean, you should memorize these formulas because they're fun. Think about it. Like if this problem came up on a test and you only had a minute and a half, you could just directly plug it in, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Replace theta with root 3 plus i. And the advantage of the second method is you're not, you're not using anything for sine. You're only using the formula for cosine. So only one formula is needed. e to the power i times root 3 plus i. Remember, this is our angle. This time, I'm treating it as a quantity. Not like the sum of two angles, but just a single quantity. And this sum is going to be divided by 2. Here's the interesting part. How does this turn into something like this, right? Isn't that weird? Well, not really, because if you distribute first, you're going to get e to the power i root 3 plus i squared. And this is going to be e to the power negative i root 3 minus i squared. But notice that i squared is negative 1. So it's going to be e to the power i root 3 minus 1 plus e to the power negative i root 3 minus minus 1 or plus 1. And then because of the exponent rules, you can go ahead and split this up into e to the i root 3 divided by e plus e to the power negative i root 3 times e. And all of that is divided by 2. By the way, I forgot to write the 2 here. And there you go. Now, here comes Euler's formula one more time. What is e to the power i root 3? It is cosine of theta. Remember, that's root 3 plus i sine root 3. And then for the negative one, it's just going to be plus minus. So let me put the plus minus there so you can kind of figure it out. And if you plug it into this equation, you're going to get the exact same result. And there's actually something called hyperbolic functions. Have you heard about it? And it's basically going to be the same thing. Or is it? Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.